you can get to some of the cool stuff you've made so just launch uh, any of the browser let's say for example chrome type in uh, the simulation that you want to download for example vernier caliper simulation okay and you will find that uh, it comes a host of many simulations let's say for example we take the first one and you will find that there is always this uh, little thing that says the plugin is not supported uh, probably because it's in java or flash now i have made this very interesting new simulation in the javascript environment which allows it to be played on the handphone so let's say it's not uh, on the first page you just click next again and you can find that this vernier caliper model which i have made uh, available to benefit anyone and everyone so this is the simulation so there are of course all these various ways you can download the simulation via the download icon the source code if you're interested to change any of the parameters within the sim embed will be for example you could now uh, typically uh, allow you to select this uh, and copy and paste it on your own blog so that you can have a copy of your of this simulation in your blog to benefit your students i also have this thing called the about which then describes the various components sample learning goals and the research that we have done even video tutorials that were made uh, even by myself and by others that have found the material to be pretty useful and uh, and of course uh, the, the, if let's say there's any worksheets it will be over here software requirement will be typically javascript so it runs on anything that has a mobile browser so now how does this simulation look like let's take a look at it by clicking on the play button and you can see that it launches through the server uh, through my digital library and you can find that now this is a vernier caliper which runs on android as well as the ios and i'm using my handphone a note 3 to demonstrate this uh, particular learning activity that you can do with this applet or simulation so you could uh, take out the jaws you could even enlarge the object that you want to measure and close it back in so the hints are already designed in the in the simulation so the the reading is actually 18.9 now this ain't terribly too difficult and most uh, teachers and students should be able to figure this out now but what happened if there is a let's say let's, let's reset the simulation again what happened if they say there's a positive zero error this is now this is not a trivial problem uh, because not many people can understand this so what it means is be, when the jaws are perfectly closed as, as in shown in this uh, screenshot, you can find that there's an existing error probably due to some knocks on the vernier caliper and then that registers a 0 0.5 reading when actually the jaws are perfectly closed which should theoretically be 0 reading. So with this initial uh, zero positive 0 0.5 zero, uh, zero error, you could still make use of this instrument despite its apparent uh, defect. Uh, you can still use it to do measurements. So, for example, the current reading is 17, and the micro and the vernier caliper reading is 0 0.6. So, adding that together will give you 17, 17 17.6. Now, because of the zero error, you need to subtract it again so to give you the actual reading which is 17.1 so this is how you can use this particular javascript simulation html5 compliant to allow your students and yourself to you know, interact with the materials that were made so for example if the if you're not sure of the answer one other cool stuff that i've made is this input field where this answer you can now try to key in the answer let's say 17.1 uh, because of the decimal place in the vernier scale so it should be 17.1 instead of 17.10 the answer should be correct okay and if you try to key in more decimal places then it will tell you that you have to check the number of decimal places in your answer